Hello, everybody. I'd like to introduce you the Integromat Dev Tool and uh, show you how it can help you uh, with uh, debugging scenarios and also with developing new apps in Integromat. So, let's start with the first example of the basic usage of the Dev Tool of the first uh, with the first example. So, how would you debug this scenario? Basically, you would open the console and run the scenario and see some results in the console. Now, you can uh, use Integromat DevTool, the first tab called Livestream, to see what's happening in your scenario. If you run this scenario, you can see that those requests that would normally go to the console are now showing here as a live stream. And you can click each request and see the request body, request headers, URL method, and also the response headers and the response body. This is uh, much more uh, useful than the log in the console because uh, you can search through it. You can search uh, events by the, their content. So for example, if I know that I use, the, I'm searching for blah, blah here. So I can easily type blah. And as you can see, I can filter only requests that uh, contain those, those words. So this is the first usage of the dev tool. You can use it for better uh, appearance of the scenario log and uh, to debug those informations. If you need, for some reason, the original log from the console, you can enable logging to the console by this little icon here. Now it's green, it means that the console logging is active. And when I run the scenario once again, you can see that those logs are passed to the console too. So when, when it happens that uh, the dev tool doesn't catch the re request or response correctly, you can try to enable the logging back to the console, open the console and see if it's logged here. Because there are some issues with uh, the native apps, which are sometimes logging in a bad format. So the dev tools, dev tool will not always recognize the log perfectly, but it works like 99%. So the next example of the scenario debugger is this bigger scenario because uh, now we have seen uh, the live stream. The second step in the dev tool is scenario debugger where you can search through the modules by their name or the ID. For example, when the customer reports the errors happening on the module uh, 78, you'd have to search through those modules in this huge scenario and find the module 78, it's right here. Or you can use the dev tool and easily type 78. Yeah, that's the module, that's his uh, request and uh, the response. And also you can double click it and the module gets focused in the original scenario. So no more scrolling over whole scenario and finding the correct module, just use the search bar and get the module right away. Okay, this logging works uh, in the same uh, manners how the console logging works. So, mean, uh, so it means that uh, when you are in Integromat, not in admin, it works only for your own apps. When you enter the admin, you can get logs from uh, all apps, all compiled apps, native apps, and so on. So every time you use console, you can use also the, the dev tool. And the important part of the dev tool, I haven't shown it yet, is the tools. The tools is something that uh, brings scenario editations to a whole new level. I'll show it here. For example, you have some scenario and you need to swap the variable across the whole scenario. Let's say we have uh, mapped the name for, from the module four here in the module five and uh, in the module six, and we need to replace it all over the scenario. We can use the tool called swap variable 
we will search for for the name and replace it for example with the name from the module one replace with run run completed and now the, the variable is changed in all its occurrences across the whole scenario that's very useful when you need to add a module and the re then remap it or you change some modules in the beginning of the scenario and then you need to change all the mappings and all the variables in the rest of the scenario you can use the swap variable tool and easily swap the variable across it and the second uh, really important tool is uh, copy mapping because uh, when you for example test some scenario and you create a, a module aside and then you need to map it to the original modules you can use you can use the copy mapping for example the module two has some mapping and the module three looks completely different. Yeah, there are some tags, no mapping at all. We like to copy the mapping from the module two to the module three. So we'll choose copy from two to module three, run. And now the module three contains the same mapping as the module two does. So that's another useful tool for scenario debugging. And yeah those are those are the basics of the dev tool you can use it for uh exploring the logs either in the live stream or the history of the run scenario by the scenario debugger and uh, you can use those tools to modify the scenario for example if i'd like if i'd like to know some data about the facebook messenger app for for example its version I will just get the app metadata and send a message module. And I can see that it's from package Facebook Messenger, the version is 1.0.6, and this can be reported to the developer of the app. So it uh, simplifies this, this communication. Yeah, of course we can focus around the module in the scenario, for example, module five, and the module's focused. And uh, yeah, we can find the module by, by its mapping. For example, when I know that the variable is used somewhere in the scenario, I can use it as a keyword and then search for modules that uh, contain this, uh, this, uh, this variable. Yeah, so, so that's it. Those are the basics. And uh, one more thing about, uh, about the live stream and the scenario debugger. If we need to send a log of the requests uh, to the customer or to the developer, we can use those copy raw and copy CR rule buttons. And uh, we can copy uh, the dump of the request to our clipboard and then simply paste it to, to Slack or, or the text editor or something like that. For example, if I'll copy raw, uh, raw data of, uh, of this request and open some text editor, Just a sec. You can see that I've copied the whole uh, request response walk of, of the module. You can see the response, status, headers, body, and so on, and the request URL, headers, body, and so. And uh, if we need to perform the request manually, like from the command line, we can copy curl script and also get get it so if i if i would uh, run this in uh, in my terminal it would perform the same request uh, without the authorization the authorization is only thing that isn't locked because of security and you need to get the key manually as you can see here the authorization header is missing we need to put the correct key here but uh, yeah, we can perform the raw request or import it to, to the postman and debug the scenario and see why the module is not working and, and so on. So yeah, those are the basics. And uh, now if you have any questions about the dev tool, please feel free to ask.